Hi Cardineros and Cardineras, welcome to another episode of Plant Discussion. Um, for those who don't know me yet, my name is Ding of the Urban Hardinera, where we talk about plants and sustainable ideas at home the garden. Now so far, hi, salamat kagyangin ko. So far we have only released philodendron videos like um, propagations and how to take care of them and all the plant chicas surrounding the plant. But I also wanted you to know that we are also a collector of syngoniums and other aroid plants. And for me, when I collect plants, it does not mean that I collect syngoniums. I only collect ilang kanang varieties of syngoniums. No, I only collect those varieties nga ganahan jud ka ayoko. Only those handpicked varieties nga in love kay ko. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to talk and propagate the newest variety of syngoniums that we have in the garden. The title of this syngonium plant, guys, the name of this plant is Ngernlima. Looking at the foliage, guys, the color is um, silvery mint and with darker greens at the side the shape of the leaf it starts off with a heart shape here with exaggerated um, flaps like this and then it extends in a narrow um, angular form and this is exactly the reason why i love having this plant guys it's because of the shape of the leaves not only the color but the shape of the leaves now one of my dream philodendron plants are uh, philodendron upi and philodendron 69686 <laughs> yes guys so syngonium version sa philodendron 69686 and philodendron upi so that's and those are my dream plants this is still considered as a rare variety it's february 2021 and the price point for this is depending on the foliage of the plant like the size of the foliage it ranges from 350 to a thousand that's the boo price guys huh? now if you're gonna ask me for this lush pot right here i got this for 800 pesos mm. Even though that is a bit mahal, pero it's a steal for me already because it's so lush, awa. And that's the reason why I wanted to propagate this plant. Kaya ganahan ko ka distribute ani. <laughs> ganahan ko mo brato ni siya, so I'm going to propagate my own. So before we start propagating this plant, let's talk about how you can take care of this syngonium plant. So for sunlight, this plant thrives under low to bright indirect light condition. So that's why this is perfect for your indoor space because again, it can tolerate low light. Just don't put it directly under the sun, guys. Kay maguba gini yung mga dahon masunog nisha. For the watering, they love water, guys. Personally, for my syngoniums, I don't dry them out. That's the reason why it's very important to have the proper media for your syngoniums. Same with other aroid plants, guys. It has to be very fast draining. They love moist, however, they don't want wet feet. So be careful on that. Syngonium plants, guys, I have to tell you that these are epiphytes, meaning they can't just survive without soil at all. They're just naturally getting the nutrients from air, from rain, from water surrounding the debris that they're on, organic debris that they're on. So that's the reason why I love using very fast draining media like I'll, I'll be showing it to you later. I have to change the media used guys because it's somewhat kind of um, very clumpy soil. This kind of medium is really not good for syngoniums. But I'm not going to change the media so might as well just propagate this plant. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the propagation guys. So I've na a mix. So I have to share this with you guys. It's mix. So, it's a mix. Bugat juga siya guys, bugat kay siya. And this means that if bugat siya, clumping siya, high density siya, and it might just not very fast draining. So we really have to change this. And look at the pot, it's very big for this plant. That's why we have to change it. So this is the media that I will be using. This is my own syngonium mix. The ratio for this is 70% uh, philodendron mix, the aroid mix, which has 60% cocoa cubes, 20% pomace, and 20% acacia leaves. 
So that's around 70% aning a mixture, and then I added 15% of bio charcoal soil and 15% of uh, cocoa peat. So I also have pots, guys. Um, small pots, no? We are still in propagation stage. It has to be small. Kundili ma overwhelm ang imuhang plant, guys. And then maybe we can just upsize later on once they are stable. And I also have, of course, I will just be using a simple scissor since zingonions are not that hard to snip off. So, kira nisha. And then, of course, I have alcohol to sanitize my scissor. So, with this, let's go ahead and do the propagation. First is that you have to take out the plant no? from its original pot. So, since this is plastic, that's just easy to loosen it up. Then, do this. So check this out guys. It's just really soil with some rice hull. For me, it's not an ideal media for syngoniums guys. Kedali ni siya malata yung hang tanong. Especially, karon nga nagsigit siya guwan uwan no, here in Cebu. So, mao nang makita ko po sometimes mga tanang ano ilang syngoniums kay kay malata is because of the media guys so you have to be very careful with your media so one of the benefits of washing this off aside from we'll have a clearer view of what's really going on inside um, this can also wash off unwanted eggs of um, pests and other microbes na not really beneficial for the plant so I'll just be washing this off just give me a second So we are done. Ang ato na lang buhaton kay we have to cut. Yeah, this one is one cut. You can do that. And then here's another one. Actually, daghan na siya, guys. So yeah, let's do this. So again, mailhan ni mo siya no kay they're clumped together and then they have their own root system na. So mao na siya mo hang ikat. So first is that have to sanitize. Ta-da! Right? So now show your roots. Can you see the division? See, kani siya. Kani, kani, kani. Let's cut that. Here's another cut. So this is another one, guys. Anisha. Now this one, I will leave this as is. Kaya ako anisha mother plant. Here's another propagation, guys, that we can do. So pwede ni nato siya ikat from here. And then, itanom ni nato sa ubos. Kani, ato ni siyang itanom, guys. Daghan ka ni siyang stalks. Mukawas pohon. I forgot to show this to you, no? Ato ang cinnamon. Ato gyapo ni siyang gamitun. This serves as a fungicide, pesticide, and a drying agent for our newly cut plants. So, just dip this, guys. Let it dry lang for a few minutes. Okay guys, so now let's do the planting. By the way, our media is already moist. Para dili na ta mag water guys. We don't want to introduce a lot of water. 
sa tuwang newly propagated plant. Kay, may tendency nga malata sila. So very carefully guys, put the plant inside and just slowly backfill. Just very gently guys, do the backfilling by madaot niya ilhang roots. So this is our mother plant. So this is our third pot. Guys, this is our fourth pot. I'm going to cut a little bit of these extra roots here. Malata rani siya guys, so we have to cut it. Don't worry, kay bugrow rani siya. Ubalik. Tada! So next, naka expose siya at least one centimeter. So we are done propagating our Syngonium Ngern Lima. For the aftercare guys, I will be watering this after 24 hours. And I will be putting this under a shade, low or bright indirect light. So I hope that you learned something out of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, violent reactions, just comment down below. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of stuff for you soon. Kulang lang jud ang time wang tulo guys, but as much as possible, we upload at least one video a week for you. Thank you guys! See you in our next video and babush! Have fun in the garden!